Chopper 4 captured video of the plane just a short time ago in the air over Miami. There it is. It will be up for around an hour spraying for mosquitoes. The, the Nalad chemical will be dispersed over about a 10 mile area. One of the questions people have is, is it safe to be outside? You wouldn't know it yet, but you've just witnessed the deployment of chemical weapons on American soil, an act of terror, an act of war. Check out this propaganda featured in Fortune on August 3rd of this year. Nalid is from a different class of insecticides known as organophosphates. According to the government, the chemical has been widely used to control mosquito populations in the United States including Miami, Tampa, and New Orleans. The government recommended the same chemical for aerial spraying in Puerto Rico, but the recommendation has been met with protests from residents concerned about its impact on health, bees, agriculture, and the environment. Miami-Dade health officials said residents do not need to take special precautions during the aerial spraying activities, but instead recommended that people go outside and breathe in deeply. Pay attention to the wording here. Recommended the same chemical for aerial spraying in Puerto Rico, but the recommendation has been met with protests from residents. However, the real story is much worse. According to this AP report from July 22nd, the governor of Puerto Rico intercepted the shipment at the airport, locked down the hangar, and told the U.S. that they will not be spraying their neurotoxin there. This Huffington Post article states things quite clearly. The feds almost used a pesticide that's harmful to pregnant women to combat Zika in Puerto Rico. The article boldly states that the pesticide is a neurotoxin and among the most toxic pesticides. In fact, the European Union banned this pesticide in 2005, citing its dangers to humans and the environment and its ability to pollute water aquifers like no other pesticide before. In this OrganicFarm.net article, the danger is fully exposed. Quote, the insecticide is highly toxic to the nervous system. It increases aggressiveness and leads to deterioration of memory and learning. Nailed also interferes with prenatal brain development. According to the International Center of Research on Carcinogens, it causes cancer. The worst application of nailed is aerial because its toxicity increases up to 20-fold and drifts for up to a half mile away. Nailed has been found to be highly toxic and can lead to convulsions, paralysis, and death. Even worse than nailed is its breakdown product, dichlorvos, which is linked to microcephaly and which causes havoc in the environment. So not only are they dumbing down the population, turning them into aggressive zombies and poisoning them, they are spraying a known agent that causes microcephaly to create a problem that they have a solution to. And that solution is to spray even more poison on the people. Once again, this is absolute proof of the government's willingness to attack and deceive the people. This is huge. They are trying to kill the people while hiding the truth. Get this story out to as many people as you can before millions of citizens are dosed with this deadly substance. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance.